This is my book, it's called The Last of the Live New Girls. It's about the time I spent um, in the last Live Girl Peep shows in Times Square. I'm going to show you my bag of tricks. This is what I would have with me um, every night at the Peep show. This is one of my dresses that I wore. And I can tell you right now that red is more popular than black. Although I, I never, never really particularly enjoyed this dress, it seemed to be popular. This, less popular. I actually liked it more, but it's black, and that doesn't really always work. Something you have to have is a schoolgirl skirt. Um, sometimes that made me feel uncomfortable, but I, I wore it, so. These, I thought, were really cute, but no one would really like them. And because you're being picked out of a lineup of six or seven other girls, you know, if you're wearing the wrong thing, you're not going to make, make money, or I would have to go upstairs and change. It seemed completely arbitrary. This wig, not particularly going with my coloring, but it was a blonde wig, and it changed a lot for me. Um, when I started like wearing blonde wigs, especially this one, I started making a lot more. That was really popular. And everyone knew it was a wig. Like The guys would come in when I wasn't there and ask for the girl with the blonde wig. So it was completely ridiculous. But I think maybe they figure if they're going to be spending money um, on seeing a woman that it should be sort of the Barbie playboy ideal of a woman, even if you're not, even if you're far from it. I mean, I think it's stupid. <laughs> but, you know, this I did not feel particularly sexy. Um, you know, it was kind of different, kind of fun, but it didn't make me feel better about myself or more feminine. I thought it was a bit silly. Well, this is a um, bag where I kept my money, my cash, and, you know, on a good night, it would be full, or it would be like folded down, the bills would be folded down. Everything was in denominations of 20s or 10s usually. But like, if you're counting your money in the dressing room and you had a couple hundreds in there, like, you're pretty cool. But it was also considered sort of rude to count your money in front of other people, so I would go to the bathroom and count my money in the bathroom. It really depended, like counting your money in front of other people was a little bit of a faux pas. But yeah, the heavier the better. Sometimes, just to sort of amuse myself or add an air of allure, I'd wear these sunglasses with my wig in front of the booth. And in my mind, I was referencing the scene in Taxi Driver where Iris, you know, the 12-year-old hooker, goes to dinner, goes to lunch with uh, De Niro, and she keeps taking on and taking off different pairs of sunglasses. Although, I'm definitely the only person who ever got that reference. This is a bandana. And there's another bandana in here. And the bandana's important because everybody sat in a chair and it would just be really important to be hygienic about that. Um, you know, even if you're wearing a dress or something, it's just, you know, we were all really paranoid about cleanliness and hygiene. So I would never come to work without a bandana or a towel and I just have one out. This is one of my locks, one of my three locks. It's not my last lock because my last locker I just abandoned which is how most people quit. They just abandon their locker and their clothes, and after about four months, they cut off your lock. But this is one of the ones they kept. These are, um, these are the uh, somewhat dirty and worn out clear stripper shoes. Um, the reason they're important, and I would always try to wear different shoes that I thought were better looking, but the reason they're important is the men who come into these sorts of places want to see your feet and your toes and your pedicure. Um, either they have a foot fetish or they just want to see that. So if your, your toes or your feet are covered up, it just doesn't do. And I always say it sort of makes your foot look, look like a Barbie foot. So maybe that's part of it. I wear heels. I, I love wearing heels, but, you know, it's good to have a platform. You know, actually, the, the shoes are in fashion because I cover fashion um, for the post. The shoes that are in fashion are pretty close to stripper shoes anyway, so it actually doesn't matter either way. I don't know how much more I have. I have this, oh my god, there's a weird stain on the fishnets, always wear fishnets. Um, it's the kind I like to wear like with the wider, um, wide whale they're actually called. Some of the stuff is going in the trash as soon as like, I get home. No matter how many times I've cleaned it, it all smells like the dressing room, which is cigarette smoke, Lysol, and microwave food, and like, 
strippers really like like cocoa butter lotion and I just I'm gonna throw the wig away first because I hate it.